Oh snap, Blaze is going live. Hey, good day everybody. How you doing? Thank you for joining me. Just in case you're joining me for the very first time, I'm your host, Brian Glaze Gibbs. Hey, normally what I do is I talk about the good, I talk about the bad, I talk about the ugly, I talk about my lifestyle, how I became who I became between the age of 14 and 24, being a sick young individual getting caught up into that street life or whatever. Hey folks, listen, you know what? Sometimes when you listen to people, we all have opinion. And even right now, like I say, what I'm talking about today is it's just opinion. I say, first of all, you know what? I respect some of these young guys, especially these days in time, as far as what they're doing, especially in the NBA, the NFL, Major League Baseball, hockey, you know, when they do it legit, you got to respect that. Because once again, like I say, they are much smarter than I was when I was a kid. I was in the street throwing brick at the prison wall. Here it is, these guys in corporate America. And to me, even with that being said, it's like they got all the opportunities in the world. And, but... When you look at the chaos and the stuff that they go back and forth with, with the nickel and dime stuff and the behavior and the mentality, it just throw me off, man. So today, what I'm talking about is this, man. You know, years ago, about three years ago, you know, sit back and think about it. When you heard, you know, being a native of Brooklyn, you know, I'm a Brooklyn native, okay, when you hear Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant coming to Brooklyn, whoa, that's huge. Because two of the most talented individuals in the NBA at the time, both is coming to Brooklyn, the Brooklyn Nets. So you know what you're thinking about? Championship, parade, you know, Brooklyn, New York City in the uproar. Because one thing about it, folks, when these folks win, the only thing we've been winning is the Yankees. And we couldn't even tell you the last time a Yankee won. But those are the individuals right now that have been bringing it to us as far as right now, you know, the Yankee. The Yankee have been definitely keeping, you know, the New York, you know, say metropolitan area on lock because they bring championship. You know, okay, here it is right now in my time. I have seen a New York Giant bring a couple of Super Bowls. But besides that, the New York Knicks haven't brought a, a, a championship since 1973. I think the same year, what, that's when the Mets did it? 1969, 1973, how many years ago? Almost, what, 50 years ago. So now when you hear of Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying, getting Kyrie and getting Kevin three years ago, guess what? Everybody's excited. Whether you're a Knicks fan or whatever, you're excited because once again, New York City have a chance to represent. Now look at it, man. Look what happened. You got Kyrie coming from the Boston Celtics when you thought that should have been a good situation or whatever. But then again, what happened? You got attitude. You got personality. They don't gel. So guess what? You sit back and think about it. When a person keep going from team to team to team, you got to ask yourself, is it me or is it them? Similar situation with Kevin Durant when he got into the big beef with Draymond Green. And they're yelling and screaming at each other, whatever. And then again, folks, like I told you right now, we as people, we got to stop being sensitive. Right now, we got to know how to dish it and receive it at the same time. So here it is. He left. He left the Golden State Warrior. I'm talking about championship material. These guys have won championship. They just won it this year without him. So what that show you? Even Boston. Boston got to, what, the final. Wow, Kyrie. Let them know, guys, listen, man, y'all not all that. But once again, sit back and look at it. When you sit back and you think about the type of money that they playing these guys, and all of a sudden right now is now you got Kyrie want to leave, okay? Because he mad at the Brooklyn Nets because they don't want to give him a max guaranteed contract. But you sit back since you've been there, since you've been in Brooklyn, had you add value or have you take value away? To me, honestly speaking, regardless of what, you are probably the most talented guard in the NBA right now. But guess what? You add problem. Right now, you bring trouble. You got that cancer behavior. So to me, I ask that question, is Kyrie Irving the Antonio Brown of the NBA? Regardless of how talented you are, who really wants you, man? Okay? Is it worth it? It's, don't get me wrong. 
You have the right to stand on your principle and do what you feel is best for you. That's your right. But in the same token, when you are playing team ball, team environment, guess what? Sometimes what we have to do, take sacrifice for the team, for the greater cause. But once again, when you having that bootleg prima donna attitude, thinking you above the law, folks, come on, man. Like I say, what I'm saying, this is only Brian Glaze gives opinion. Nothing more, nothing less. We all tied to it. Like I say right now, like those guys, hey, they are way more smart than me when I was their age. Like I say, I was in and out of jail committing crime. So the difference is right now, they out there in the free world. But once again, they got no right. Sometimes money bring about power, bring about change. They walk around with their head in the air. That's them. But in the same token right now, when you got fans or you got people following you or people looking up to you, make sure you be cautious. Make sure you right now, you 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 are righteously in your approach, man. Okay? That's all. That's all I'm asking. Stop with the negativity. Stop with the nonsense, man. People are watching, man. When you do good, people are watching. And when you do bad, people are definitely watching. So right now, like I say, man, whatever happened, like I say, hey, my apologies to the Brooklyn Nets fan. I know right now, guess what? You thought with Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant teaming up and they coming to Brooklyn in 2019, three years ago, you felt championship. See, just, like, just look at that. It doesn't matter. Look how you thought. Right now, is and they had James Harden to add a sort to injury, and look what they did. Choke. But once again, sometimes right now, is you can't bring dominant like Mel Alpha all together. Because right now, somebody got to know when to lead. Somebody got to know where to follow. Somebody got to know when to yield. And these guys don't know how to do that, man. Hey, listen, man, hit that like button, subscribe, share. Um, Like I said, read down. Shout out to Kyrie Irving. Shout out to Kevin Durant. Shout out to the Brooklyn Nets organization. Shout out to the NBA, man. Hey, peace, love, and prosperity. One love. Uh -huh. Just got my copy of Beyond Lucky by Brian Glaze Gibbs. Thank you so much for sending me my personalized autographed copy. I've had the pleasure of knowing you for a long time, so I'm really excited to get to know some of your stories and what made you you and how this redemption came about. I know you're a changed man, and I'm looking forward to seeing the whole process of how it happened. Thanks. Big day, big day. Went ahead and got my book, Beyond Lucky, BGG, Brian Glaze Gibbs. Signed autograph copy means a lot to me for my brother, day one support, love and prosperity. Right back to you, my boy, my G, my big homie, my brother. Let's get it. Made Media Mafia Magazine exclusive, Mafia Apparel, making the future in art, making a difference every day. Still here. Let's get it. Free Meach. Rest in peace, baby blue. Whatever you hey. My name K2, you know what I'm saying, man? Young cat trying to get my life together, man. This right here, a lot of knowledge, man. Strong mind, I appreciate it. Have you checked your tire pressure today? I don't have a flat. Have you checked your blood pressure today? No, I don't feel sick.